In 1977, a thunderous voice and an overwhelming physical presence exploded from radios and television screens. The singer was named Meatloaf, and the Bat Out of Hell album became one of the biggest hits of the decade. Its melodramatic tales of doomed romance and violent road accidents were louder, more colourful, more outrageous than any other rock record. At school in Texas, Marvin Lee Aday's nickname was ML. It quickly changed to Meatloaf after a run-in with his football coach. The first thing out of the coach's mouth was, you meatloaf son of a gun. And <laughs> that's where his name evolved. He was the only child of a policeman and a gospel singing mother. But smitten with rock and roll in the late 60s, he moved to LA to pursue a music career. He recorded for Motown and landed a role in the musical Hair, before making an unforgettable appearance in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. A long collaboration with songwriter Jim Steinman resulted in Bat Out of Hell. It was operatic and over the top. American audiences didn't know what to make of it. But in Australia, it was the era of Countdown. Meatloaf was a perfect fit for the dominant pop program. Yeah, Australia! Australia was the first country to send the album to number one. I'm Meatloaf, this is Countdown. America finally cottoned on, and Meatloaf was fated in his homeland. But a split with Jim Steinman was followed by addiction and mental health problems. And then I had a nervous breakdown. A marriage breakup and finally bankruptcy completed his fall from the top. Superstar just became star, or less. But like one of his own songs, just when you thought it was over, his career revved back into life with a sequel to Bat Out of Hell. And I would do anything for love. Less predictable was his acting career, including a key role in the acclaimed Fight Club. It's me, Bob! His career still had its low points, including the 2011 AFL Grand Final. And his health problems worsened in his 60s, causing multiple collapses on stage. But for the fans who'd thrilled to the fantasy world of Bat Out of Hell, Meatloaf always delivered. It was a fabulous concert. Well, thank you very much. For an old man, I go for it. For an old lady, I liked it. <laughs> the audience is always the most important thing to me. I'm gonna fucking cry here. Um, because I live for these people that spend the money on these seats. And they mean more to me than I do to myself.